I realized I lost six months. So what is your name and what do you do? My name is uh, Ron Berg and I'm working for 20 years now as uh, uh, in my own companies. And I have set up a couple of companies, uh, sell, sell, sold a couple of companies and also uh, making bankrupt, going bankrupt with some companies. So it's going up and down. Where are you from? I'm from the Netherlands. What was your reality before you followed the principles of the workshop? Before I was not focused enough and I spent a lot of time for things that not really um, working well in my business. So I've learned to be more focused. Okay, and how is your reality now after the workshop? After the workshop, um, I skipped 80% from all the things I've done uh, away. I take uh, say goodbye to my uh, two co-founders and I fully focus now on the things that really make me, uh, make make us really happen to uh, to make my business successful. And how do you define your business successful? Successful is uh, when I'm feeling happy. I'm making enough money to uh, doing the daily shopping and work with a team of people that make me happy, or we work work together with a people with a team of people. Um, that we all are a happy team and making money together. And can I ask um, if you want to share what, what the problem was with the co-founders that you decided to leave suddenly? When we make a list of actions that everyone doing well, uh, take care about the action and not doing things but not finishing things. So that was my uh, biggest frustration through the last months that people are Working and maybe working hard, but they n finishing nothing. So on the end, they having done their job, but there was no product. What is it about the workshop that you remember that made you realize all these things? One of the things I've learned, I realized that uh, I'm working uh, with companies and not in companies. So when I uh, developing. A new business. When I working on new business, I prepare the company that I can find people on the end that they uh, take care about the daily operation. But you need people around you that that take care about set up that business and not uh, being on the end uh, inside the company. So uh, I've learned that I have worked with the wrong people, or not not the right skilled people around me. And that's how I learned from, from the training. And second was uh, everything you have to do, calculate it, see what, you, what your end goal is and see where you're standing. So it's it's all based on spreadsheets to see where you're standing now, where you're going to, and are you really on track, yes or no. And do you have any tangible results from working, not working in the business, but on the business and also from the tracking? For me, tracking was uh, mechanism was really important to 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 making goals and see where where are standing with the goals and uh, quantify the most important goals that I have to do and not having to having an action list with with hundreds and hundreds actions, but not having uh, working on the most important things to do. So you use tracking to start working on the business and not in the business. If I yeah. That, that's that's most important and 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 when I'm outsourcing some things uh, to, to be sure that people also on the track are where where the target is and when they not when they're under performance then I direct have to take action to be sure that I uh, to receive my end goal okay. so before that you were tracking less efficiently absolutely yeah and that that's more and more based on trust uh, based on people, nice people around you, and that was for me, uh, yeah, was not working well on the end. So I, I realized I lost six months. Once you learned, when I explained in the workshop how to work um, on the business, not in the business, and also how to use trackers, um, did you find it an easy process to take what you learned and apply it in? It was not easy, but it was learning also uh, track your trackers 
<laughs> to to understand for yourself what's working, what's not working. So I'm not a guy who uh, who are spreading spreadsheeting the whole day and making uh, uh, plans based on uh, hundreds and hundreds of items. But I have learned first to to get some global uh, yeah tracking mechanism. And, and see if this working and then you go more and more in details on the end. For me it's important to, to, to get balance in, in normal life and business life so, uh, so I spend enough time to my family and to my business and it doesn't matter where I work or how much time I work but what I do I have to, uh, have to be in control. What have you learned from the experience? Did a certain belief or a mindset change in you? Yes, it's a mindset changing that you and and yeah, there are a lot of other trainings and and, and, and mechanisms that the learn may be the same, but every time you have someone to hit you and, and get you back in uh, back in line or back in tracking to do think that that's really important. It opened my eyes and refocus again. Okay. And, and making a couple of dramatic dramatic uh, uh, steps in this. Most first, I realized. Uh, the team around me, did they really help me or they delete, delete, de delay me? And I, I learned in that way, analyzing my, my position, that they are not helping me, but were they delaying the process. So I have to change that. Uh, second was, I learned, uh, I was working again day and night, and I realized that 80% of the time I spent was nothing to do with my business, but was to organize the people around me. So it was the second uh, step. I said, it's better to uh, do everything myself for the first, uh, the coming months, to be sure that the work is really done the way that I, uh, with the standards I, uh, I, I like to, 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 to have in the company. So uh, when I having other people around me and I cannot track them, I cannot, uh, I can not really manage them, so it's better to do it myself and say goodbye and spend my 20% time on the really things that I really want to do and uh, bring back my uh, my 80, 80 hours work week back to uh, 25 and feel more happy in that. Describe your experience so far if you want to add something. My experience was, was really uh, back to basic uh, yeah, training sessions that I uh, and uh, it's it was not really helped me to to refocus on the the, the, the things that really make me, uh, make make help me or make really make me uh, make me happy make me uh, bring my business on the level I uh, I I have supposed to to, to go to